Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at a new app uh, called Gidea. So if anyone uses your GitHub and you guys are used to CI, CD, continuous integration and continuous development platforms, uh, you're going to be very familiar with Git. So Gidea is basically the self-hosted version of that. Uh, so we're going to add three data sets here. And now notice we're not going to do the data set apps. We're going to keep it generic because Gidea does not run as app 568. It runs as Nginx a lot of times. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change these permissions here and we're just going to open everything up like this like that okay now we're going to add some data sets under Gidea the first one is going to be for config and I'm going to save and then I'm going to do another one for data okay save and then I'm going to do another one for the database, which is going to be a Postgres. So I'm going to change that one later. Now, even though I did my um, wide open uh, permissions here at the, at, the, at the top level, the bottom level you'll see did not get that. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into here. We're going to edit this and we're going to just do a, apply for permissions recursively and for child data sets again. I was a little bit too quick with that. Oh, nope. All right, we're going to have to do it for every one of these individually. Let's come out here. Okay, go there, go here. Yeah, I didn't need to do it. I didn't need to do that. There's nothing underneath it yet. And the DB, I don't really even have to touch this one. Um, in fact, I'm going to leave this one like that. So let's come over here to apps. And let's discover. And we're going to find Gidea like that. Let's install. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave this up to Postgres 15. You guys can bump to 17 if you want. It's totally fine. Database password. This is the password for Gidea. Make sure it's more than eight characters. Uh, and I'm just going to do something super weak, but you guys do something strong. My URL is going to be just the URL of this server, just like that. Okay, I'm going to leave all this stuff the same. And now I'm going to add my host pass in here. Okay, uh, this is the config, just like that. This is going to be data. Okay, and the last one is going to be for the Postgres database. Remember, anytime you see Postgres like that, you're going to want to click the automatic permissions tab. And I'm going to show you that in a second. Like that database automatic permissions. Always check that. All right, we're good here. I'm going to leave everything else the same and install. Okay, we are up and running. Let's jump into our web UI. This is exactly what we should see. Uh, so this is our username is Gidea. This is our password. Um, all this stuff is fine here. Uh, you can, again, change your site titles, do everything you guys want to do for your custom setup. Um, I think we're good here. I don't want to touch anything else. Everything here should work out. Let's just install Gidea from here. Okay, we're loading. And anyone that's familiar with GitHub, I think it looks like this. No. So we're going to have to register an account. So my username is going to be username. My email is going to be user at user.com because this is all nonsense. My password has to be eight characters like that. And now I'm going to register my account. And here we are. We're in the dashboard. So you guys will be very familiar with GitHub and Gidea if you have used that stuff before. Um, you have stuff like this here. You can do your organizations. This is where you can do all of your code repository and simultaneous editing. All this stuff is here. It's very much like GitHub. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because this is a really powerful platform. I don't actually use CI, CD. I'm familiar with it, but this is for people that do. So for you guys, you're the experts. This is just a video to how to get it up and running. Once you're good here, your SSH port in this case, I had the web port set at 30,008. That's the default. Your SSH is 30,009 for you guys that have to connect it to your servers in the back end. Uh, and that's pretty much the whole thing. So happy coding.